What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. Today's gonna be a very, very fun and exciting day. Number one, we're putting the spoiler on the bore wire, which is right over here. I just finished spraying the bottom side of it. Gotta look it all nice and clean and ready to go. And also, we are finally heading back after like two and a half or three months back to the junkyard. They're opening for two days a week from like 11 to three, a very short period of time, but still, we can go to the junkyard. I don't know if they'll have anything new currently, but hey, I haven't been there in such a long time. I just wanna go back look around bug jeremy just have some fun i miss the junkyard here we are boys and girls back of the junkyard finally oh i'm so excited marvin's here tony's here everyone's here like i said i don't know if there'll be anything new since they've been closed but hey we love the junkyard might as well come and hang out have some fun got us that prime shade park in the corner man this thing is looking so good how it sits right, boys and girls here we go take us a quick lap around the yard you can hear that they have the c-130s running today they're just so cool i said i don't know they'll be anything new but hey i've uh i've missed this place junk cars as far as i can see yeah i'm home this was the tdi mark three from a long time ago it's still here it now has a uh, a vehicle on top of it so she's pretty much done we'll see if we can find anything cool today the guys out here with this uh his big truck it has this massive crane that comes down and just Poof, grabs the car and dumps it out of the way. I think it's really cool. They've cleaned out a lot of cars from this section. What was that? This Passat's new. It has the nice HID looking headlights. I don't think they're glass or the plastic. There's a plastic, but chrome trim, leather seats, well, leather and cloth, automatic, newer style steering wheel. This is probably a 2.5 diesel or it's a V6, one of the two. I wonder if my, there's that seafoam. Oh, that seafoam Mark III still back here. And then over that one? Yeah, that one right there, that is the VR6. That was here a long, long time ago. This is the 12 valve. Oh, is it locked now? No, it's locked up, but you can't really see what, make it open hand. Okay, it's open, let's see. Somehow this hood got closed up, but that one has that full uh, Mark IV AFP 12 valve. Uh, VR6 in it. I really wanted the engine out of there. At some point, if they get to this car, I like to pull that engine for something. Maybe the wagon? Who knows? So we can find. So the more I look at these seats, the more I'm curious to see if they'll actually fit in my car because they actually are really nice. Leather with the gray on the inside. They're super clean seats. So we're gonna go ahead and pull one out. I'll try to find it online, but I have no service out here. So I guess we're just gonna pull one out and see what it fits. I think the fronts might mount it the same. It looks like the same bracket in the front. The two 13s and it kind of comes out, which is right over here i'm not quite sure if the backs are the same even though my back seats are literally just set in there anyways so these will need washed severely but overall I look pretty clean i think it might be the same might be all right so apparently a quick uh vw vortex form search real quick apparently these bases are about an inch or so wider than the mark IV um bases so they don't fit like this direct swap but i guess you can swap this base stuff to the mark IV and make it fit but if I choose to do that, we'll see. I'd rather have a direct fit with the Mark IV or Carlos, but those seats do look pretty nice. Tony said he wanted a Honda. Well, here you go, buddy. Hey. Oh, your wing's missing, though. That's unfortunate. It's all right. I'll buy a new one. Got the carbon fiber lights. Woo! Oof. This is straight out of 2001. Straight power. Back in the day, this was it. Straight. Way in the back. This is that first uh, 10 valve V5 we saw a long time ago pretty uh pretty stripped out at this point not much left on this poor thing this is the weirdest little thing what is this peugeot 1007 the whole door slides open this is an awkward little thing looks like a bmw shifter or like a um a prius shifter or the little gear select whatever i call it it's got paddle shifters too oh this baby was fast I bet this thing was wicked fast. What a weird little... Yeah, good old steel blue. Still chilling in the yard. Still debating if I want to take this carpet out of this car. Like, I love the blue door cards. I like the blue dash. It's, all the blue is cool. I think it would look good for Miley. I like the blue dash, but it's not a dimple dash. And I don't want to go back to this kind of style, but... I don't know. Blue is cool. He's got the crane going. It's so sick. Goodbye, poor Audi. Who do I talk to 
to use the crane. I want to use the crane and throw cars around. It looks like a lot of fun. Uh oh, looks like our uh, our bore there is in the um, the dead pile and a Mark III. So sad. Who's it gonna be? Oh, they're going for the Aztec. Oh, the poor Aztec. Oh, she's done. It is so crazy to see a car like fly through the air like that. That's wicked. Oh, she's gone, boys. No more Aztec. What a sad sight to see. And gone. Who's going to be Bora or Golf? Oh, but it's going to be the Bora. Oh, God, there she goes. Jeez, that thing is ridiculous. Oh, I'm glad I got parts of the car that I wanted. Oh my goodness. And she's gone. Oh, MSC 130. No more Bora. I could watch these planes fly all day. So cool. I'm waiting for the um, the fighter jets to come back again because those things just sound incredible. So we're looking at this uh, wagon in the bedlock because Tony might want to get himself a wagon because wagons are definitely the move. It's clean. Looks like it's reflex silver or satin silver, but the body wise is clean. It's a five speed 1.8 turbo, which is pretty cool. Car's clean, but I think I'm getting this uh, these roof racks and this roof box off it. For my wagon yeah hello i'm jeremy uh this is my new youtube channel <laughs> chris decided to give it up so i'm in charge now jerry's excited to be here we traded i gave him the channel he gave him the r33 that's right that's a fair enough trade all right well i didn't expect this to happen today but yo boys we got a roof box and the original plan was to get a roof box for this car and once i wrapped the car wrapped the box and match the car and now we have it, which is so sick i need to adjust the little bracket so this piece here will actually loosen up and slide in and then i'll bolt it down but we got ourselves a roof box. i gotta paint it obviously what do we got up here some some stickers ah, i was born that year look at that. 1993 that's when i was born i was kind of cool so a couple stickers on there we'll paint over all that for now but dude we got ourselves a roof box. How sick is that? What a cool, unexpected little, little gift for the bore wagon. So cool. And the best part is now I can fit even more parts in this car. We have the whole back section now and now stuff on top of the car. The wagon's just, I'm gonna say it again. If you don't have a wagon and you're thinking about getting a wagon, just do it. Like wagons are great. They're, they're just, they look awesome. They have all the space. You need a wagon. This is me telling you Get a wagon. Had to pull the entire box off of the car because this Allen key is super awkward to get to, but now I got it off. We'll loosen this up so I can move the entire rail back and forth and then get it fixed with the car. That thing's going to make horrible wind noises. We'll see how I like it. Um, right about there. And then just slide your back rail to fit. Good? Oh, uh, like the whole. Yeah, as long as it's on, I can screw it in. I like that. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Cool. So now it's all mounted up, and the more we dive into this thing, the cooler it is. This is actually a, I noticed on the little tab right there, and we actually found the keys too. This is actually an old school cami roof rack, which we have the actual tool that goes into here to tighten it up. We have the key, as also the smaller outer wrench to adjust on the bottom side to move the rails. Well, that's pretty cool has like gas shots on it and marvin actually found the rubber pieces to go inside here so this thing is pretty sweet i like it it needs paint but it's cool well boys we got ourselves a nice roof rack didn't expect that at all today but hey i'm not mad about it it looks like i can't wait to paint it and like get it all nice and freshened up but dude it looks so cool what a cool pickup for today i'm not gonna lie i totally forgot the ac in this car works but oh ice cold now that the warmer months are trying to come around again it gets quite hot being outside and oh having working ac is just so nice quick fuel stop for the wagon man this box dude this thing just looks so cool i love this thing such an awesome little addition all right we are good should go wagon's got fuel 
All right, boys and girls, it is time to go home and put our fancy spoiler on. Oh, it's off. Oh, now it's getting hot outside. Wearing these masks are awful, awful. We are home and it's time to the fancy spoiler onto the wagon. There's a brand right here. I think it says Luma, L-U-M-M-A. Never heard it before, but I think that's the brand of Luma and then Bora variant, but I can't wait to put this on the wagon. Look at that, look at that roof box. So cool. I can't wait to paint that thing. It's gonna be so, I said, I wanna wrap this car. I wanna wrap the roof box to match the car. I think that would be epic. This thing's coming, it's just crazy. Like parts of this thing just like show up out of nowhere. It's so funny. So back when I ordered my side skirts and front lip for Miley in the box from Rieger, they sent me this um mounting like paste silicone kind of stuff. It's up here. I think it's in this box for here actually. It's what they sent me that I was supposed to use to mount my sensors with, but I never wanted to use it. I think it's in here. Let's see. Is it in here? I thought it was in here. Oh, uh, maybe not. Did I lose it? Oh, there it is. This stuff right here. I believe this is the stuff they use, like that black gunky stuff to seal things to the car. So I'm going to use this. And hopefully the spoiler hooked to the Bora and have it not fall off. All right, we have our stuff all ready to go. Honestly, I'm not sure how much to use or if this is actually what I'm using it for. But hey, we're just going to go ahead and set it. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this section. This is not a dumbbell. <laughs> I'm going to fill this section with um, the Sikaflex stuff on both sides. We're going to go ahead and press it down. And then I'm going to tape it in place after we hold it for a little while. And I just hope this works. It should be fine, right? What could possibly go wrong? All right, well, this is what we've got for both sides. Hopefully that's enough to keep it uh, secure. We shall, we shall see. I think it'll work. All right. Ready? Once you press down, we gotta kind of like seat your side first. Right there. Oh, let me see. If it goes over, we'll kind of have to wipe it off. It's fine. Okay. You're pulling mine down. All right. We'll so push your, yeah, push your down right there. And once it's down, we're gonna have to push hard. Ready? Mm -hmm. After like five minutes of hold time, the spoiler is pretty much complete on. It's nice and tight. It's still a little bit tacky, but for the most part, it's stuck on there really good. And I love how this thing looks. Super cool addition. The spoiler and the roof box. This stuff works very, very well. The only problem I have right now, so I already pulled the antenna off as you can see, but as you open this, be very careful. If I let this go all the way up, it will hit the box. I'm gonna go ahead and move the box forward just a little bit and then we'll be good. I'm gonna have to also get a stubby antenna because this one uh, will hit the spoiler. So not a big deal. We'll get it situated. Went ahead and threw a couple pieces of tape just to make sure it fully dries in place. But we got it, if you can see right there, we actually got it really close on both sides. So I think we're good once it dries. Should be exactly where we want it. I've given it about an hour and a half or so, and I think we should be good now. A lot of you guys commented on the video I posted today saying to use Sikaflex to actually hold us down, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, she's uh, she's not going nowhere. So we should be good to go, and I have no issues. And then eventually we're gonna have to pull this back off when we wrap the car, but for now, the spoiler is on, and it looks really cool. I like how it matches the rest of the trim and the rest of the car. Someone's got the, ooh, that is nice. What a good color too. I like that a lot. So right now we're heading to this new car wash that just built uh, right up here next to the Capone base actually. Really nice one. So not, there's this one that I just built and there's also one over here. This is just the better one, but very nice like foam guns and all kind of cool stuff. Jeremy's already here. I think Tony's on his way and for the cars. So quick little car wash meetup, kind of hang out. And I'm pleased to report the spoiler. Stay on, this thing is like rock hard, not going nowhere. I gotta clean up this a little bit once it actually fully, fully dries, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with that. Even though the wagon's still pretty clean, I'm kind of tempted to use this car washer for the foam cannon, but we'll see. This is Marcus here in his right-hand drive Nissan President. How baller is that? That thing's sick. The wagon is looking so good. I can't wait to paint the roof box black and have it all match. I'm really tempted. Even though this is like my side project daily, I'm tempted to get some baller wheels like these Lorenzos and it's like, it's the daily, but like we, we might have to get some baller wheels for this car because like I love these, but I don't know some uh, some two piece and three piece. I don't know. 
we'll see what happens we are back home and done for the day the wagon's just looking awesome this thing's it's, it's a fun little like daily project car but it's really starting to turn into something special and i quite like this thing i'm gonna need a whole bunch of cans of trim paint to paint this entire thing but it'll be well worth it once it all matched together the spoiler looks awesome just so much cool. I still can't believe we got this entire thing today. Just, <laughs> I don't know. That's so cool. I've always wanted one, and now we got one. As always, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.